And here's B.J. Upton. Now let's take a look at what Ruggiano's been doing. Not a real good start for him right now with just eight hits in his last 48. Now since the start of June, a slid into a slump, but he just can't seem to get things going again. He needs to stay back, let the ball come to him a little bit, and think about going back up the middle. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. Rivalry game against the Miami Marlins. Average against the Braves. Justin Ruggio uh. wasn't fooled by that pitch. The count is evened up. It's the Miami Marlins coming off a win that made it two for three after trading games one and two. Here comes the Ephus against the Padres in San Diego. Here's a strike. Ooh, one. strike two with, with the Ephus. The offense got busy for them. It uh, came a little late, last four innings, but it worked. Well, they got stifled early in the game, but these guys are such great hitters. They came through late and helped preserve Of this course, game. the knuckle curve and gets the strikeout. Gets him. That's one away. Well, two strikes on the hitter, and he came inside. He just couldn't catch up quickly enough to it. He must have been thinking away. That's Avaria at the plate. Down and in fastball. Here it comes. Ooh, he got he got a hit. He got a hit. Ah, right, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Uh, pull him off the bag. He is safe at first. Come on, fielders. You can't be giving up hits like that. Not a not easy outs like that. We can't be giving up that. Ooh, the knuckle curve. Clearly the pitcher's in control right here. This guy really struggles on the fastball when he's behind in the count. So look for the heat. Ooh. Another knuckle curve. So enticing it to a hitter that you over Fastball up and way away. That's way away. Instead, the catcher caught it. Oh, tough one to lay off right there. The fastball one and two. Now one two is a pitcher's count. So there's down and away fastball. Hit right here. And it's fouled off. The down and away fastball hardly ever gets hit, but he hit that one. Ooh, not the up and away fastball. Up and in? We'll, we'll do the up and in fastball. Oh, he hit it. Uh, double play. Double play. Double play. Ooh. Retired. My first at bat. Right Batting 444. Four. You got the top of the order coming up. One out with a runner at second. Oh, give me that. Oh. The guy's looking at the numbers on that should have been a home run. Come back with a fastball right here. Oh, that's out of here. Oh. Uh, Darius P thinks every <laughs> every pitch is a home run. Like that one. Hit in the air to center field. Ah, uh, nope. That's. Hernandez can he get to it? Can he get to it? Ah. Uh, pop fly ball. And we've got Joe Hold on. What's the score? The Braves winning last oh. Night. That made it a sweep in the zero series. to zero. Three for three against the Tigers in Detroit. And the last outing for this ball club. Talk about controlling, dominating. They did. Here comes the Ephus. They save one for this next game. Here comes the Ephus. Hit on the ground. And Ugla picks it up. And we get the ease out. We get the ease out. Davies into the batter's box. What you got, Davy? What you got, Davy? Fastball up and in. Here it comes. You ain't ready for it. Ooh, okay. Max. Maxed it out. Oh, that's the max speed I can go. Eight or nine miles per hour. The strike on it goes up and in and opens up the entire strike zone now. Here comes the Ephus. Here comes the Ephus. Ooh. Drop down and get your Ephus on. Drop down and get your Ephus on. Now he wants to hit him with that, with the knuckle curve. Ooh, I like it though. I like it. Uh, he didn't swing on it. He didn't swing on it. Fastball. Away. Fastball away. Uh, he's not chasing. He's going to go with the change up. He's going to chase this one. He's going to chase it. He's going to chase it. Uh, 
just about had him, but it's full now. Full he count. The change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. That's an automatic strike. Oh. He was waiting on that ethos, wasn't he? He knows my tendencies. He's not winning this this down and in change up though. He's not waiting on that. Ooh, got him licking what you looking at. You should have swung at that whenever you up to a bad. He's a guy struggling right now for his team. Just 10 for his last 60 at bat. He can trace his struggles back to the end of May. He went into a funk right there, and he just can't find a way out of it right now. He's got to shake himself and get going. Here comes the Ephus. Here comes the Ephus. Swung on and missed. Swing and a miss. And uh, just 161 off Atlanta. There's really no explanation of why he has trouble against this team, but he struggles against every pitcher. Knuckle curve. Oh! That shouldn't have been that high. Come on, nah. Uh, come to the knuckle curve. The knuckle curve, here it comes. Ooh, got him swinging. Why you swing at that? Why you swing at that? <laughs> Here comes the Ephus. Here's the pitch. Here's the Ephus. Nice uh, come on. A little bit higher in the strike zone, and that would have been strike number three. Because he's not swinging at that Ephus. It's too intimidating. Oh, he hit it. Get it. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah, uh, the throw brings him off the bat. And it's Solano Batty. Too many pitches. Too many pitches. Here it comes. First pitch is a change up low. One and oh. Trying to get him to chase it. I feel you, catcher. You're trying to get him to chase it. Down and away change up. Let's get a down and out. That one swung on it. Oh! He dives. Oh, what a play. <laughs> Beautiful catch. Beautiful catch. Up the bat, here. up the you bat, again. For a very Ooh, your base is loaded. Base is loaded with, with two outs. Give me that. Oh. Line towards third and foul. Little bit too early. He deals. Oh, give me that. Good arm action. Circle change swung out and missed. How did I miss that? The crowd is going wild. The crowd. Oh, that's gone. You know, he wants to come out there, throw strikes, and get his guys back in the dugout. And, the and I strike <laughs> out. <laughs> Bases loaded, and I strike out. It's going to be Hernandez. He's our first batter, home half of the third inning. Baseball, and we're going to throw it up. And we get the mess. We get the match. Hoo, 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 hoo. Nothing you can do sometimes about a match pitched fastball. And here comes the Ephus. Here comes the Ephus. Oh! I missed it. I was there, though. I got to just get my persons, my players. Got to get his awareness up. His fielding awareness up. I like it. I think I like it. it Looks like the knuckle curve and it just misses one and all. Yeah, he he he's seen it coming down. I think the da anything down in the way on this guy is just would be. I mean, look at his stance. He can't There's hit anything down the way. Good bend to that got him licking. What you looking at? You got a swing at that. Whenever you up to bad. Come on, you want to go? The same exact pitch. Here's the one one. The same exact pitch, and I get the strike again. Another knuckle curve to strike. One and two. You behind? Of course, he was just waiting. He was just waiting. Got him. 
Get him. It's two to zero. I can throw whatever I want to. What I don't understand is why is he not using his best pitchers as the four seam fastball to keep the hitters honest. It gives him velocity and great command when he uses it. It's going to be Ruggiano. Another knuckle curve. I don't know. He's liking a knuckle curve for some for some reasons today. Just a little bit too low and out of the strike zone. That's a pitch that when it leaves the pitcher's hand, the hitter thinks it's a fastball, and all of a sudden it drops down out of the strike zone. Another knuckle curve. Better job by the hitter for not fishing. Ooh. Justin Ruggiano. He went after that one, but he misses it. Even count. Oh, he wants to fade. He wants to change up. He wants to change up. Well, let's change the game. Change up changes the game up. Ooh. Got him one and two. Out of the zone right now, Gary, trying to get him to chase something rather than giving him a good mm -mm, pitch. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We're not going with the up and away fastball. We'll go with the up, 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 up and away fastball. Justin Ruggiano isn't fooled by that pitch. The count is even. It wasn't really away, but it was up. <laughs> It was up. Why does he want to? You better not give give up a hit right here. Here's the two two pitch. Ooh, good call catcher. Good call catcher. We get the strikeout. How's he attacking on the first delivery? Let's look here. Well, we tell pitchers all the time work ahead in the count. It changes the at bat and proof here. Oh, one count. He's gotten five guys out today. Oh, that was a good hit. We'll give him that one. Well, this sort of hit starting out the inning, even though it's just a single, deflating as a pitcher, because now he has to pitch out of the stretch. He has to concern himself with the bunt, but he also has to concern himself with giving up that big inning. I'm not worried about a bunt. With 15 hits in his last 46 at bats. I'm not worried Virginia, about when the bat got hot and he's yet to call a bunt. Oh, what a oh. Up to feel this one. Good he catch. Easily here. Good catch. I thought I had gave up a home run. Ooh, that was close. The score would have been two to two. And we've got Jones batting. Edgar Jones. Change up coming. Oh, I like it. I like it. They might try to steal to get back into this game. He might try to what? His steal is only 50. I'm not worried about that guy. Dominating this lineup right now. He's only given up one hit. And they just have not had quality at bats against him. He's making it look easy. Because that's what I do. I'm a boss. I make I make the most most difficult tasks look like Here's the delivery. Look easy. I make it look like eating cake. You know how easy eating cake is? Well, that's how easy I make hard task look. Here's a breakdown of how he's been mixing up his locations using that one's drilled to short. Go get him out. Get him out that second. Now they teach you to go with the pitch, and that's exactly what he did right there. Perfect example of taking what the pitcher gives you. John, so many times you've seen two batters on, only one out. It's never a bad time to get a hit, that's for sure. Two batters only, only one out. I need to strike these two guys out. First pitch was a strike, 0 and 1 now. Right now in the night, 0 for 1 against Patton. He saw the changeup as the put away pitch in his last at bat. You got to believe he's got to be looking for somewhere during this at bat as well. Jump down and get your Evas on. Jump down and get your Evas on. Here comes another Evas. Another Evas for the strikeout. Oh, but we get the out though. We get the out. We get the out. The running gets the third, but he's not gonna make it home. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. Runners at the corners. Well, the advantage right here goes to the pitcher and defense. This guy does not hit with a high average with runners on base. Tendencies though can change. Ooh, one strike. Now 0 and 1. Watch that. One strike. Well, let's take a look at a breakdown. This guy needs a hit. Generating quality strikes, guys. Your thoughts? 
Well, just impressed with this young man, the way he's just hit the lower part of that strike zone. When you can keep the ball down, you have a recipe for success. Boy, he's so accurate on that corner as well. And I tell you, that ability to repeat his delivery and get that release point. Oh, that was a terrible pitch. That was a terrible pitch. Here comes the Ephus, though. Here comes that Ephus. Fouled away by Morrison. Yeah. Strike number two. Count is four now. He wants to go with the knuckle curve. Why not? Oh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Morrison again, a foul ball. Well, here's a guy that you know is taking that defensive approach, fouling tough pitches off, hoping to get that one. He can Got him. play for a base hit. Got him. And he strikes him out. He I knew before I even threw it. I knew before I even Little threw it that I had him. Going in the bullpen, that's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-hander. He'll get things started. Home half, fifth in. Still in the game. Still in the game. And get set for the first pitch. Up and in, fastball coming at you. Oh, they've been hitting the ball. Beautiful. I mean, they've been getting, they've been getting contact. But, but they haven't even, they haven't getting, been getting on base a lot. So, I mean, how many? Let's see how many. How many hits have I? I've only gave up two hits. Only two hits through five innings so far. That, that was really a ball. He was way out in front of the Ephus pitch, but it was too far inside for him to offer. That was, that, come on, that was clearly a strike. That was, that should be strike number two. It's, it's not strike one, it's, it's strike number two. This is, and this is going to be strike number three. The down and away fastball, that's strike number three. He fouls that one off. See, well, it's two, the, the third strike. That's actually a strike, but it's, it's a foul. But it's actually a strike, so it's two strikes. It's not three strikes yet. Here it comes. That's ball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. Change up, change up, changes the game up. Change up, changes the game up. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Almost hit the umpire over there. Whatever you call it, that other guy. See if I can get him with the end. I'm pitching the end. Swung Got him. And that there. will be another out, baby. Oh, he can't come up with it. So a nice double that time. Two outs to go. Up and drops a lot of uh, balls. And I think I'm out of the game. And is the batter now. And Steve, what's he got in his mind? And we win six to zero. Miami. 